Far-right political activist Laura Loomer and political interest group Freedom Watch filed a lawsuit in 2018 against Google, Facebook, Apple, and Twitter for violating their First Amendment right by suppressing and censoring conservative content. On Monday morning, the Supreme Court denied Loomer's case to be reviewed. It's Andy here, and Laura Loomer's case against the Supreme Court for her conservative journalism, I guess, against these big tech companies has again lost. And here's what happened. Loomer, who has worked as an activist and journalist for several organizations, including Project Veritas and the Rebel Media, is known for pulling a number of stunts, including crashing a New York showing of Julius Caesar on livestream, trespassing Nancy Pelosi's private residence, and handcuffing herself to Twitter's headquarters in protest. Obviously, interesting. If you're willing to handcuff yourself to Twitter's headquarters, I think you have to set some boundaries for yourself, but I digress. As written in Loomer's petition, the targeted suppression and censorship was believed to, quote, take down President Donald Trump and his administration with the intent and purpose to have installed leftist government in the nation's capital and the 50 states. Larry Clayman, Loomer's representative and founder of Freedom Watch, said they heavily relied on social media platforms like Twitter for advocacy and funding. So it was a big hit when they were thrown off. So Clayman in the end argued that Loomer's run for Republican candidacy in any form of government is hurt. Which obviously, if you have a story like this attached to you, I think honestly having yourself handcuffed to a Twitter headquarters damages any reputation you have for going for any office. I'm just saying. Following the ban, Loomer handcuffed herself, as we mentioned, to Twitter's headquarters in protest, calling out Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey to unban her and remove other people she believed had violated Twitter's terms of service instead. Loomer was banned for failing to follow social media company guidelines and violating hate speech policies on not just one platform, but nearly all social media companies and more, including Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, GoFundMe, Venmo, PayPal, Uber, and Lyft. Like, if you're really banned on GoFundMe, I think it's a, again, take a step back and be like, did I do that? Did I really do that? And to have, I just, I'm just baffled. You got banned on GoFundMe. Many cases like Loomer's have ruled that companies are entitled to ban and suspend users at will, as long as companies don't discriminate against protected classes, such as racial or religious minorities, the elderly or the disabled. Unfortunately for Loomer, political views are not a protected class. Upon filing suit for Loomer, Clayman called Laura Loomer an American hero who puts principles ahead of her own safety and well-being. Clayman said that Facebook and Instagram maliciously defamed the Loomer and that these companies will pay for their actions. Not sure how I'd call someone who is a proud Islamophobe or celebrates the deaths of migrants as an American heroine or hero. No, I'm just gonna say no. After banning a number of alt-right figures, including Loomer, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that Facebook has always banned individuals and organizations that promote or engage in violence and hate, regardless of ideology. The process for evaluating potential violators is extensive and it is what led us to our decision to remove these accounts today. So this brings up a lot of things. Conservative ideology overall, if you're going against a lot of big corporations, essentially what rights do you have? But essentially they operate like a private business. They can reject you services if you're not abiding to rules. It's essentially the grounds of if you're drunk at a bar, you need to leave because that is a business and they are trying to run their own practice. So if you are violating what they stand for in the first place, you can be asked to leave. Private businesses, even though they're in a public setting, you can be asked to leave. So let us know what you think at What's Trending. Follow me at Andy Lawani. Let me know if you handcuff yourself to Twitter's headquarters because I would like to see that video and more videos of Laura. Laura doing whatever, I guess. Anyway, we'll see you soon.